Hello everybody, this is Raman from Emerging Alliance SAP and in this video we will be reviewing uh, how DMS in ERP can bring in a real digital transformation. Well everyone knows what's a DMS, DMS is a document management system, nothing but capturing, storing and retrieving of data which is used in your business. Well the primary requisite for DMS uh, to bring a true digital transformation in any kind of businesses, the ERP system used in your business should have uh, DMS built uh, as a default module or as a default solution. And if it's not there, then you can't do it. We represent SAP, so it's very much available in SAP Business One by design, uh, as well as uh, S4 HANA and so on. So <clears throat> there are a lot of ways in which DMS can be put uh, to use in an ERP solution uh, to attain uh, digital transformation. Um, so I'll walk you through various aspects of business or various departments of business to see how DMS can be put into use. Let's see, uh, the first department is basically uh, the sales and marketing department or what we call as customer relationship management CRM. So any kind of uh, inbound calls which comes as an inquiry call which is answered by a sales coordinator or an agent uh, or even an automated answering machines. These can be captured as uh, digital audio files and they can be positioned um, in the inquiry so that whenever people down the line, uh, estimation people or business development people or sales people, when they build the quotations or proposals, they can always refer back to these audio files and they can prepare the codes. So that's one way of capturing uh, customer information. So most of the times what happens in sales uh, is there are a lot of scope discussions that people do with customers. So these discussions are discussions which lo uh, run for pretty long and uh, the best way uh, is to capture these discussions um, as a recorded uh, discussion through a mobile phone or through an, uh, to an recording device and convert them into an audio file and put it in your opportunities or inquiries and this will be pretty useful for people uh, who will be preparing quotations or proposal in the future they can always refer it and if there's even any kind of arbitrations then these uh, recorded documents uh, can be reviewed moreover if there are any customer expectations which comes in as an uh, picture or image that can also be stored in your inquiries so that uh, uh, the quotations can be prepared with respect to the uh, images that you have got uh, which makes things pretty crystal clear uh, right during the quotation stage. Down the line uh, in order processing you can have uh, customer uh, letter of intents what's called as an LOI or customer purchase orders uh, basically attached in your sales order confirmation uh, or, in any, in, or in your ERP system so that these can be used, these documents can be used by people down the lane like your accounts receivable people one might, one might to have a look at it uh, when they are receiving the payments from the customer. So they, this, these documents can also be attached. Well we have reviewed uh, CRM and sales and order processing. We can also see uh, what happens, how can DMS be used uh, in goods receipt uh, and incoming quality management. So all goods rep receipts basically uh, happen any customer supplied material which comes into your company for which you do a goods receipt basically has a documentation. So there's a supplier delivery note, there's a supplier invoice. These documents, if they come to your soft copy, well and good, have them attached to your ERP system. If it comes to as a hard copy, have it scanned and put it into your ERP system so that people down the lane, say an accounts payable, can refer it and all these documents are available in one single repository. Not only that, uh, people can also uh, record images of uh, how the goods came in and they can have it mailed to the supplier or they can, uh, the incoming quality inspectors can basically have pictures and photos of, uh, uh, of items which are rejected uh, and have them in the system so that when there's a credit note generated for the supplier or a rejection note generated for the supplier, the images can go along with the credit note or if it requires, if the rejection requires a detailed uh, explanation then you can even have a video made 
and have them attached in your ERP so that can also be sent to the supplier. So this is how you can use DMS uh, in goods receipt management. You can also use DMS uh, in delivery and shipment. You can make images of the items which are being delivered, the way they have been pa packed. So customer kind of gets a confidence of uh, how they have been packed and they can check if it was received in the same condition uh, at their end. Uh, and, and some of the business cases, uh, the customer needs to sign off to authenticate that he has received uh, the shipment uh, in proper count, in proper shape and size, uh, in proper condition. And then this particular authenticated sign uh, can be scanned uh, by the person who delivers it or can be scanned after the uh, signed copy comes back to the office and can be uploaded into the system. And this can be referred uh, back if there's any kind of arbitration uh, that comes in future between the customer and the company on the way it was delivered or the count was delivered. So you can even use DMS uh, in these situations. DMS can also be used uh, in your item masters uh, ERP in ERP. So every item that you create can carry a small image uh, of how it looks like and this really helps a lot of people who work in the company like when you print a, a stock report it will have the image of the item and the quantity and people who do basically stock taking uh, get to know whether they are right, uh, counting the right items. Uh, images of items in invoices um, or in supplier uh, purchase orders make sure that your customers when they look at the invoices they get to know whether they have received the right items and they can get to see whether the item looks the same as it's been printed in invoice and if there's any difference they can always report back to you. Uh, for suppliers when you uh, raise a purchase order you, you not only put them in words you also put them in picture it brings more clarity to the situation. So you can have pictures used in items plus you can also add brochures, manuals, uh, catalogs uh, and then you can even add test certificates of an item and if you want these things to go uh, along with your code or along with your invoice you can have your ERP do that for you. So uh, it really becomes one single repository for all your uh, item data. Not only that, if you have, if you're an engineering company and if you have requirements to store your documents, uh, engineering drawings uh, with change levels and stuff like that, you can even have your DMS do that uh, for you. When it comes to fixed asset master, uh, you can have uh, the images of the fixed assets populated in your ERP system. This will make sure that whenever we do a physical count of a fixed asset, the image is printed and the quantity is also printed. So uh, whenever we count, uh, we make sure that we're counting the right thing by looking at the picture. So it helps a lot. You can also put uh, product videos uh, with respect to any items. Moving forward, uh, you can have uh, DMS put to use uh, in business path partner master or what we call as a supplier master or customer master. If there are any uh, trade license copies uh, of a supplier or a customer you can put them in or if there are any certifications uh, given by individual, uh, given by authorities for processing or manufacturing certain things for a certain period of time you can have them stored in your ERP and have your ERP remind you and check you out whenever it's going to get expired and you can have vendor images, uh, equipment lists, um, images of the vendor factory, images of the vendor shop floor and whatever you want to have about the vendor uh, in the system you can have it. Similarly you can have the same for your customer so it becomes one single repository or one single place to store all your details about a customer or a supplier. Moving forward uh, you can also have them used in production and inline quality inspections like in production you can have uh, uh, assembly videos made and populate them into your ERP so that whenever a production order is executed the people uh, who are working on the production order can refer the uh, assembly videos or can, can refer to the do's and don'ts videos or if you want a quality inspector to inspect something you can have uh, the inspection manual basically videographed so that he can refer to it at any point of time and he can always check whether whatever he's inspecting is right and what's the procedure to inspect and what are the instruments and devices that needs to be inspected. So as you can see beginning all the way from uh, CRM or customer relationship management and sales to all the way to delivery, production, 
uh, you can see that uh, DMS can be used in different ways to really bring in uh, a true digital transformation in any kind of business. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, do let us know if you have any clarifications and also feel free to talk to us if you have any more ideas of how to put DMS uh, to use in ERP uh, to attain true digital transformation. Thank you once again. This is Raman from Emerging Alliance. Bye.